this principle that uh, history repeats itself in that what happened before happens again, what happens to the fathers happens to the sons, that history repeats itself, that um, there isn't this straight linear calendar where uh, things are constantly improving and that you start off with uh, uh, an ape-like creature who will, uh, before that you get a, the evolutionary picture is, you know, a fish, you had an amoeba, then a fish, and then it turned into, uh, crawled out of the mud and then it went through these ape-like stages and you got Pilt Down Man and all these other uh, stages. And then at the end, you've got a man with a briefcase standing there, modern man. And then he, then he's evolving into a new species and that they're trying to do these genetic manipulations so that man doesn't die out. Uh, well, you've got that kind of linear thinking. That's Western thinking. That's, you know, Greek the Greek mindset, the Greek-Roman mindset, Western civilization. But uh, part of the uh, block logic Hebrew mindset is that from the ancients that time goes in cycles and that history repeats itself over and over and over again. So that in the first four to six chapters of Genesis, Everything is written and then it repeats itself again and again throughout the Bible and through time, through real time. So, um, but what, what does, what, uh, you know, so if, if things repeat through time, is there something that doesn't change? Well, yes, you've got the covenants. The covenant, each covenant makes a change. Um, it's kind of a alteration so the um history doesn't just circle it more or less spirals there are little pieces that are changed well the seven covenants are you know first you got covenant with adam then the covenant with noah um uh, the rainbow you've got the covenant of abraham where he walked through the pieces you got the covenant of uh moses and he's given the Torah. You've got the covenant with David, who's a king that will never lack a um, representative sit on the throne of David. Um, then you've got uh, the covenant with Yeshua, Jesus. And then you got the future covenant of peace that uh, was promised to Pincus, who destroyed the uh, couple there in the... Uh, who were fornicating in front of the tabernacle in the tent there, right in front of Moses and everybody. So, uh, interesting story there. So, at any rate, you've got these covenants, and each one of these covenants changes things. You see, people say, well, God can do anything. Well, yeah, but he established things through these covenants. He's, he bound himself permanently through these covenants. To these covenants and he's going to act that way the way that uh that he agreed that he he would he would do that and so um you know and then you know uh oh well, there's more but I'll, i don't think i'll mention it right now